on May 31st, Kelsey Grammer had a minor heart attack, or at least that's what we all thought. Tonight, for the first time, Kelsey reveals what really happened on that day and how close he came to losing his life. Camille was patting my head and she said, that's when you looked up at me and said, I'm going now. And then off I went. Did they have to do the paddles and all of that and we stuff? We did the whole thing, yeah. You did. Did your heart stop? Yes. Yeah. The place, the big island of Hawaii, where Kelsey and wife Camille have a home. It was just another beautiful day in paradise until Kelsey began experiencing shortness of breath and then excruciating chest pain. Even so, he tried to tell himself it was nothing. The pain threshold thing has no real value for me. It's, I don't acknowledge pain. You know, I'm not supposed to. And so I'm sitting there going, oh, I'll, I'll breathe, I'll, I'll get through it. No, I'm going to be fine. It felt like somebody was actually trying to tear my uh, um, chest apart with, uh, <laughs> like, um, you know, the jaws of life, just to sort of, like, pry me open. And I thought, no, no, I'm okay. And I guess I have a pretty high tolerance to pain. But then she said, are you having chest pain? And I said, yes, I am. And then she ran up and said, he's having a heart attack. My gosh, so you were sitting there having this pain, but not immediately saying, call 911? No. I just thought, you know, uh, I'll, I'll breathe through it. That is so dangerous. Well, you just don't spend your lifetime thinking anything's going to happen either, you know. I mean, yeah. I, I just thought, I got to, you know, I got to stay strong. Well, you sound pretty nonchalant about it right now, but it wasn't at the time. Were you scared no, you were going to die? No, of course I was scared. But honestly, when I was wheeled in there, I mean, I was lying there for almost an hour and a half. 90 minutes after he first began having symptoms, paramedics arrived. By then, Kelsey knew he was in serious trouble. Thoughts turned to Camille and their two young children. I, I, I did think, oh gosh, I gotta hang on. I got too much junk I gotta take care of. <laughs> I gotta take care of the family. I mean, the kids are six and three. I can't be doing this to them. His condition worsening by the minute, the emergency team rushed him by ambulance to the hospital. When they were checking me out, they said, he's got a clot, blah, 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 blah. Um, and I sensed I was in a little trouble. Um, they said, we can give you a shot. And I said, okay, great, what does it do? It's a, it's a clot buster, blah, 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 blah. Uh, there are some side effects. I said, what, what are the side effects? They said, death. I said, <laughs> give me the shot. So they gave me the shot. An incredible story, isn't it? And the scariest part is what happened after that shot, because Kelsey tells me he did die. You'll hear it in his own words coming up. One of the great perks of my job is meeting some really terrific people who just happen to be famous. One of those, Kelsey Grammer. And I have to tell you, in my 26 years here, I have experienced nothing stranger than sitting across from my friend as he tells me about the day he died. Did your heart stop? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Alive and happy, Kelsey laughs now. But back on May 31st, when he teetered on the edge of death, he remembers pleading for his life. Now, when you were lying there and your heart actually stopped and yeah. you, I guess, technically were dead, dead yeah. uh, did you see that light? Didn't that get you're the thing. About? As I lay there dying, I said to them, I said, please, I cannot do this. I don't want to see anything. I don't want to see any light. Any little adventures that make me want to get out of this life. I need to finish this one. And so when I went down, I saw nothing. When I came to, when I was back, the only voice that came to me was, the light is here. Rushed to one hospital in Kona near his home on the big island of Hawaii, Kelsey and wife Camille were then put aboard a medevac plane. Destination, the Queen's Medical Center, Honolulu. Do you remember the details of your medevac flight? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Once I, I mean, once I woke up, I was conscious. Yeah. Um, they brought me back around. I don't know how long it was that they came in and told Camille, oh, he's breathing on his own. Then the medevac flight, I mean, I just remember being taken in the, in the, in the, the ambulance again, and they, they put you on this little prop plane. Which, I know the guys are very dear. The only thing that's frustrating is they have to, they have to um, exchange monitoring equipment mm -hmm. and one is not compatible with the other so they put these little pads on your chest to uh, facilitate the um, the paddles mm -hmm. and uh, they had to tear them off so they said oh this is probably gonna hurt a little bit and I said well that's okay I was waxed once I'll, I'll be all right and then that is just awful 
Behind all the joking is a very thankful man, one very grateful for a wife who didn't panic. I mean, it's been, it has been tough. And the wonder of Camille has been really extraordinary. You know, it has been a, a little amazing. Not overwhelming because you can't afford for it to be overwhelming. Right. You know, who's got the time? And his thanks extend to the Hawaiian medical crews that he knows saved his life. So I wanted to thank the, the emergency staff at Kona who got me going again. I, they had to blast me twice and get, my, get me started all over again. And I, I am eternally grateful to them now. And uh, then the, the, the group in Oahu was fantastic. This guy, got, uh, Dr. Gertler, was fantastic. He said, uh, you know, guys in your position, 15% make it. It says, oh so gosh, you're lucky already. I'm also supposed to thank the, the, the um, ICU nurses at uh, Tower 6 at uh, Queens Hospital in, uh, in uh, Honolulu. So uh, I'm really glad I'm here. And Kelsey, we want to thank you so much for sharing your story so candidly. You can, of course, see a very funny Kelsey in Swing Boat August 1st. Coming up to...